A Northern Nevada charity is trying to restore and preserve a piece of the Silver State's history. You might have heard of the Sutro Tunnel, a nearly four mile stretch from Dayton to Virginia City. After it collapsed about 20 years ago, the charity, Friends of Sutro Tunnel, are hoping to revitalize it and make it a tourist destination. But it has to be deemed safe first. Michelle Lorenzo is live in the newsroom with a look at the restoration efforts. Michelle, have they been able to make any progress? Yeah, Ari, actually today a team was sent out to the site to collect data on the tunnel's condition. Friends of Sutro Tunnel hired E-Rock Associates who used drones to gather the information. No one could squeeze through this blockade of collapsed timber at the entrance of the Sutro Tunnel. But even if they could, it wouldn't be safe. We don't know the condition of the inside of the tunnel. You send a person in there and because of the air quality, they could die just from methane gas, from carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, who knows what else. Uh, timbers could fall. It's very dangerous in there for a human being. So instead of sending people on a mission to explore the unknown, Iraq Associates launched drones. Because the diameter is 14 inches, the drone is able to fit in tight spaces and capture video footage like this from inside the tunnel. It was able to go in as far as 500 feet. The drone will go in there and surmise if the air quality is okay for humans and if the ground conditions are okay. Some drones will also map the space with LiDAR technology. It just capture a bunch of imagery that can be stitched together and, and put together with very high accuracy to, uh, to show the conditions. The information collected will help friends of Sutro Tunnel determine their next move in restoring the old mining site. The goal is to eventually open it and make it a tourist destination. One of the ideas right now is once we get it open up a certain distance, maybe put a little bar back there, which would be a lot of fun, and then incrementally reopen the tunnel. Then we could have ore carts, maybe bring people from here all the way back and back again. Pretty cool. Now, Friends of Sutro Tunnel hopes to start clearing out the tunnel this year, but they need donations to continue restoration efforts. Cleanup could cost more than $300,000. To learn more about the site or donate, you can visit our website, 2news.com. Covering the story live in the newsroom, Michelle Lorenzo, 2news.